Hey you guys! Welcome aboard Crab Central Station. My name is Faith and this is Darcy and if you haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. We'll even wait for you here. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Did you do it? All right so in this video we are going to answer some of your most frequently asked questions. Let's get into it. Hey, Faith. Yeah. So I saw this hermit crab at PetSmart with this really cute frog painted on it. And I'm just wondering if I can keep this shell for my hermit crab and get some other painted shells for my hermit crab. Okay, so you're right. This is super cute. Um, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say no because that is not safe for your hermit crabs. You guys, that is our first FAQ. Are painted shells safe for your hermit crabs? And the easy answer is no for two simple reasons. The first being that paint is not safe for any animal whatsoever, whether it's toxic, not toxic, whatever. Specifically for hermit crabs because they modify their shells. You can see right here on this natural shell that we have that there's this little piece cut out of the front. That's so that the hermit crabs can be comfortable in their home. Um, when they modify painted shells, the paint chips off and they end up eating it. It gets stuck in their shell, things like that. And that is not safe for your crab. Um, and the second reason has to do with the horrible hermit crab industry. So the way that they get these crabs into these easily marketable hermit crab shells is horrific. They take the crab, they throw it under this little drill press, and they crack the shell open, their, their natural shell that they come in, and then they throw the crab in a bin with a bunch of these horrible toxic painted shells, and they force them into it, and then they sell them in the pet stores and the beach shops, and that is not humane, and we do not want to support an industry that does that. So instead, you can offer shells just like this one, or this one um, that are completely safe. This is just a natural shell from the beach, you guys. It's not polished, it's not engraved, and this is safe for them. This one, if you're looking for something that's a little more, um, is a nice um, sanded and polished shell, and it has this beautiful um, turtle engraving on it. Um, you guys, we'll link where we get our shells down below, but the bottom line is you do not want to offer painted shells to your crabs, period. All right guys, so the second frequently asked question that we are going to answer in this video is about lighting. And we get a lot of questions about what type of light should I use? Here you go. You can use an LED aquarium light or a UVB light. This is really controversial and talked a lot about in the hermit crab community. And to be honest with you guys, we are currently doing more research on whether or not hermit crabs need UVB light, but there is not enough conclusive evidence for that to be the case. So you have a choice. You can either use your just uh, basic LED like we do, which is super inexpensive and easy to get at your local pet stores or online, of course. Um, or you can go ahead and try the UVB if that's something that you're interested in. Just know that UVB lighting is a lot more maintenance um, involved, and so you have to have that light within your tank, not on top of the glass. The UVB doesn't go through the glass, um, which also then increases the risk of harm to your hermit crabs because they climb, and you don't want them to burn themselves on that UVB light. So you do have to take some precautionary measures to make it safe. Also, just know that UVB lighting, the light bulb itself, has to be changed frequently. Um, and so make sure that you're keeping on that maintenance as well. Also, when you think about lighting, we just want to remind you guys you need a complete and consistent 12-hour day cycle as well as night cycle. And so on the LED lights, you have a nighttime viewing option. A lot of times it's like a blue or red light. And we get a lot of questions about whether or not you can use that in the evening. Really, your hermit crabs actually need complete darkness for 12 hours. So my suggestion is if you want to use that as a viewing option just while you're in the room looking at the tank for a few minutes, that's fine. That's not going to harm your hermit crabs. But when you leave for the evening um, and you're calling it a night yourself, go ahead and turn off all lights and let it just be dark um, in the hermit crab tank. 
All right, I think uh, one other tip I have for you. So you can actually get yourself a timer. It plugs into the wall and then you plug the light into the timer. You can set it so that it actually automatically turns off um, 12 hours and then turns on the next 12 hours. And so it's like worry free. Super easy. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, we do that on our tanks. So, um, so yeah, that's a great tip for you as well. All right, you guys, so our third and our fourth FAQ kind of go together. So the first one has to do with EcoEarth. Can you use just EcoEarth as your substrate in your tank? The answer to that is no, and that's for multiple reasons. Guys, we have firsthand experience with why you don't wanna do this. Our first few tanks were just EcoEarth substrate, and we were like, why are all these bad things happening? Well, now we know why, because we were just using EcoEarth. So the first problem is that EcoEarth attracts bugs, so you are very likely to have a bug infestation, which is horrible. We've had our experience with that. You don't want that. The next one is that EcoEarth um, makes, it holds lots of humidity into the tank, which means you are far more likely to have a mold outbreak or a bacterial bloom or a fungal bloom. Um, and the EcoEarth just kind of hosts those things, which you do not want. Once again, it's bad for the crabs. Um, and the next and one of the most prominent reasons in my mind is that EcoEarth is too soft and it does not hold its own shape. So when your hermit crab goes down to molt, the EcoEarth will cave in on your hermit crab and you will not have a good molt tunnel or molt cave for your hermit crab, which means that your hermit crab is in danger while it's molting. So for all of those reasons, we do not want to use just EcoEarth as your substrate, which brings me to my next point, sand. So there are lots of things going on around sand in the hermit crab community. Um, so first and foremost, I want to talk about calcium sand. We get this question all the time. Hey, I'm at the pet store. I'm seeing this calcium sand. You know, can I use it? The answer to that is no, you do not want to use any form of calcium sand in your hermit crab tank. And the reason is because when it gets wet, it can actually get behind your hermit crab shell and almost act like cement back there. And it will glue your hermit crab into their shell, which will eventually harm them. And unfortunately, it will probably cause them to perish. You do not want to use calcium sand in your tank. And the next question that we get really often is, can I use sand from a beach? The answer to that question, it's a very great question, is no. Um, the sand from the beach, first and foremost, it's usually illegal in most states to actually take sand from a beach, so you don't want to do that. Um, often it can be contaminated, it's not clean, things like that, so you don't want to use sand from a beach. Um, Alternatively, what we do to get sand into our tanks is we like to go to Home Depot and you just go to the just the section in Home Depot that sells um, play sand and you get some play sand. You don't have to wash the sand to put it in your tank, in your tank you guys. It goes through a treatment process, process before it gets into your tank. So you don't have to wash it, you don't have to bake it, anything like that when you get it from the store, it's good to go right into your tank. Um, recently, we've been getting questions about flukers and um, play sand from the pet store. This is safe for your crabs, you guys, but it doesn't come in a very big bag and it's really, really, really expensive. It is far cheaper to just go to Home Depot, get some play sand and use that. But the fluker sand is safe for your crabs if that's what you choose to use. Um, so yeah, that is the eco earth and the play sand. So now we're gonna talk about what actually makes good substrate. So we've talked about this all the time, but we're just going to say it again. You want to do the five to one ratio in your tank. So that means five parts play sand to one part eco earth. That is what makes the perfect substrate for your crabs to um, have safe molt caves and tunnels, not too much humidity, the right amount of humidity though. It doesn't um, host bacterial blooms very easily, mold, things like that. It doesn't attract bugs. It's the perfect amount for your crabs. So five to one is what you want to do. All right, and the last FAQ for this video is all about salt, especially the kind you're going to use for your saltwater pool. And so you want to be using marine grade salt only. We prefer reef crystals, but we have also used instant ocean and those are both safe salts to use for your salt water. We will put in the description below all of the marine salts that are safe for your hermit crab. Um, you can try and, and use different ones to see which ones you like the best. Um, but you don't want to use household salts or table salts. Those are dangerous. Actually, you don't even want to put that in any kind of food um, or season, you know, meat or something like that that you're putting in your tank. You don't want to use any kind of salt like that. 
So um, the reason that we like reef crystals best is because it has a higher calcium content and we use that for our breeding program. Um, but we've just found that it dissolves in the water easily and it doesn't clump as easy as Instant Ocean. And so that's just our preference. Um, but like I said, you can find one that you like best. Another question we get when it comes to saltwater pools for hermit crabs is if you can use actually just water from the ocean. After all, that's where the hermit crabs come from. And if you live by the beach, it seems pretty simple to just go and get yourself some for your tank. However, there's a couple things with that. First of all, it's usually illegal to collect things off of public beaches, so you don't want to do that. And secondly, you know, think of the ocean and the beach, you know, same thing with the sand that Faith was talking about earlier. That is a open environment where, you know, the ecosystem is balanced. And so that's why it's safe for hermit crabs there on that beach and in that ocean water is totally fine because it's an open environment. We are creating a closed environment. And so we have to be more mindful and careful about what we're putting in those tanks. And in the ocean, you have all kinds of microorganisms that you do not want to bring home into your closed environment. You have contaminants and things like that. So it's just safer for your hermit crabs, for your home, for your tank to stick with those marine crystals <laughs> reef <laughs> crystals <laughs> yes marine grade salt is best oh, yeah. for your hermit crabs and so um definitely stick with that you guys i know too um when i'm thinking about this actually at like the um, pet stores they have hermit crab water bottles it kind of looks like drinking water like we use but it's the hermit crab water you can get salt or regular and actually you don't want either of those so um it's not the correct kind of salt water. It's not the salinity that you need for your hermit crabs. And the regular freshwater bottles, um, they don't have the minerals that tap water has. It's not um, ready for your tank as well. So it's a lot easier. Just use your tap water and put your prime in there. Um, and it's a way cheaper than trying to buy those very expensive hermit crab water bottles from the store. All right, you guys. So those are five of some of the FAQs, frequently asked questions that we get on our channel. You guys, we're going to try to make this into a series. So if y'all have any more FAQs, drop them down below in the comment box. We look at our comments all the time, respond to them all the time, and we'd be happy to include those FAQs in some other vi videos in this series. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you can be notified when we drop new content. And follow us over on our social medias, you guys. We do a lot of interacting there. You can DM us with any questions as always. And we share videos and pictures and tips over there. You don't want to miss out on that. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for joining us on our channel today and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.